Hi everyone, Travis here with Pronam Marine, and today I'm going to take a little bit of time to answer a question that we get from a lot of our customers and a lot of folks out there who are wondering, what is the difference between a GPS heading and a compass heading? With our product, the Pronav Angler, where this applies is on the vector mode. Vector is essentially a heading lock mode on the Pronav Angler that allows you to either control your boat using a GPS heading lock or a compass heading lock. Let's dive in and take a look at what the differences are. A GPS heading lock is a mode that I'm going to use a lot of times when I'm out fishing and I want to get directly from point A to point B in a straight line. So think of a GPS heading lock as creating a two point route from your current location to a far off point where you kind of want to end up. So for example, if I'm fishing in the middle of a channel and I want to aim for a pier that is a mile down and off to my left side, I'm going to set a GPS heading lock directly towards the end of that pier and my boat is going to take the straightest line possible from my current location to the end of that pier. What this means by creating a GPS heading lock is that the tip of my boat, the nose of my boat, and the trolling motor that's doing all the driving is going to do everything in its ability to keep the bow of my boat directly on the GPS heading that I have set. So as you can see here, we've got some wind, we've got some current, and all of these things are trying to blow us off of our heading. On my GPS heading, the bow of my boat is going to maintain the straight line. So if I've got wind, waves, current all coming off the port side of my boat or the left side, what's going to happen is instead of my boat actually just directly pointing along the straight line directly towards the end of the pier off in the distance, the nose of my boat is actually going to maintain that heading line and the stern of my boat is actually going to swing and point, so my boat is actually pointing slightly into the wind, slightly into the current or whatever that prevailing condition is. Meanwhile, the trolling motor is not deviating from that heading line. We call this crabbing, so think about it uh, just like flying an airplane. A lot of times the nose of the plane is facing into the wind, the tail is, is drifting downwind, but you're actually heading in a straight line that's kind of not quite perpendicular to the direction your boat's pointing, but at some angle. So this is called crabbing, and we're going to follow this GPS heading more or less precisely. So when do you want to use this? If I'm navigating a skinny channel, I'm going to use a GPS heading to make sure that my boat stays right down the center line of that channel. I don't care if my boat is pointing directly down the channel so much, but I want to stay in the center of that channel so that as I'm fishing and I'm casting at docks on both sides of that channel, my boat is not drifting into shore or drifting into those docks. Now let's cover the basics of a compass heading lock. So a compass heading lock uses a compass to basically point the motor at a constant heading, a compass heading. So as you can see here in the same example, we've got wind, waves, current. We set a compass heading lock as our boat is heading along this heading. So what that means is I'm telling my motor, my boat, that I always want to face due north. And in this example, we're always facing due north, but the wind is actually a west wind. So as this wind is coming across the port side of my boat, my boat is actually drifting downwind. However, all the while, the heading that my boat is facing, my actual orientation, remains constant. I've locked my heading due north, and my boat is facing due north. However, because of this wind, it's a crosswind, my boat is actually drifting downwind as I continue to head north. So as you can see, this feature is really handy if you want your boat always facing one direction as opposed to varying in its direction. Um, examples where this is useful in a fishing situation would be as if you're actually just trying to achieve a nice controlled drift 
um, across a flat, down a river. There's a lot of different applications for this. Um, in a river, your, your heading is going to be locked directly into the current and your boat is going to drift straight down the river. So this is a great mode to use if you're actually fishing in a river situation. So as you can see in our example, if we're using a GPS heading lock to keep our boat dead center down a channel, this compass heading is going to have a completely different effect. If I've got a crosswind and I use the compass heading and I want to head straight down the channel, what's actually going to happen is my boat is going to drift into the downwind shoreline gradually over time as I progress down that channel. So hopefully in illustrating this and kind of going through these couple of examples, this helps to clarify for a lot of you, what is that difference between a GPS and a compass heading? If you folks have any suggestions on how we could convey this differently, or if you have any questions, please contact Pronam Marine and we would be happy to uh, expand on this. And we will also be doing some additional uh, documentation and animations here in the near future that will help to explain this further. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you guys have a great start to the spring fishing season.